some expectations on gold and silver because what I was thinking is it's going to have to take off pretty soon because now not that I'm superstitious on, on uh, the astrological events and the four blood moons and the religious predictions and whatever, you know, cycles of the Hebrew calendar, but uh, I think September 2015 is going to be the bottom of the next financial crisis. Um, I saw these predictions about every seven years on a Hebrew calendar. Also, that's the round of time of the fourth. Uh, that is the time of the fourth blood moon. And uh, you know, I just think that the powers that be make the events happen in, in the world. They do. I think they do. According to astrology and according to whatever, I think they do it. So what I'm thinking is, you know. Silver and gold are going to have to take off really soon if it's going to get going. Because when at, at the time, 25th, September 2015, that's going to be another low. Um, but I do know there's a number, there a number of events in the shoot right now, as to speak, that could set off the metals like a rocket at any time, which would be like oil leading a charge. I know this has been going on for a while now, but it could be anything at any time. Because you, the situation in Ukraine is serious, the situation in Iraq is serious, what is this? It's probably dividing up into three parts. I know there's an oil tanker that's uh, not, uh, right off the coast of the United States that might get seized by U.S. Customs because they don't know who the hell it belongs to because of the problems going on in Iraq. They don't know who the hell it even belongs to. And I know about Turkey, um, you know, they're, they're not, they, dump, they dump the U.S. dollar, not quite due to economic reasons but political reasons and but you know Turkey actually there was a recent thing here the Turkish Prime Minister he actually stated <laughs> he actually stated to, he actually, I'm laughing at this I don't know but it's, it's ludicrous he stated that women should not be laughing in public so you know that's the kind of guy that goes over to Russia he, he probably doesn't like America because women laugh in public so he's dumping a dollar I don't know what he's doing you know I know it's for political reasons maybe it's not all over Obama Maybe it's because American women laugh in public and talk on cell phones and stuff and have fun and wear bikinis at the beach. So he hates America. I don't know, but he's going to go to Russia. I don't know. Maybe they wear burlap bags in the wintertime or something, except in Moscow. There's some really hotties over there. But anyway, um, you know, and uh, the Baltic Sea. <laughs> but, uh, you know, as far as like, um, you know, what's going to happen here, it's going to have to happen pretty soon. But it can. It can. And... You know, I'm thinking it's, I don't know. Well, I was thinking like late summer, like September, very end of August, but that's coming right around the corner. You're talking a month or so away where it's going to start taking off. It doesn't take long for things to really take off like a rocket, and it takes less time for it to crash. Just remember that. I don't know if it's going to take off, but if it doesn't take off, you know, I'm, I'm going with that prediction, you know, all these people predicting with, and I'm not, just, I'm not like superstition with ast astrological events or religious events. I just think that the powers that be are going to move economic events that way. And there's going to be in the middle of the next financial crisis and in, in recession. You know, it happens, you know, it's, it's, that's the way things are in the economy. They go up and down, right? So it's been going up for a long time. The U.S. stock market is now in the second longest bull run in its the last hundred something years. The only time it's been longer is in the 1920s. So... You know, then what we're going to have is, uh, you know, it's going to have to come down. So when it comes down, you know what that's going to do to gold and silver? It's going to clobber it, right? But it could be a different scenario if there's something going on. Because, you know, if war breaks out in the Middle East, like serious war, like with the United States involved, or, or Ukraine gets invaded by Russia or something like that, you're going to see oil go up, gold go up. And silver take off like a rocket. It doesn't take long. Remember in 2011, what happened? It's, silver was going up, but then we had to deal with Libya, and that's it. Really, when it go up at the end there, and then once that war was over with, wham! It cracked. Well, it wasn't just the war was over with. It was a, uh, you know, the margin increases, five margin increases. Well, because the markets are getting overheated, I guess. I don't know, whatever. But just beware. Just beware, because I'm, I'm thinking, but you know what? If it doesn't go up, if it does not, I'm suspecting it is, but if it does not, it can hit an all-time new low sometime, not an all-time low, but a low even below 18, 
and gold can go down to a thousand or something like that in uh, around sometime in 2015. But I'm not expecting that. I'm not expecting that. I think they're going to throw us for a loop, and you're going to see the silver. You know, if they do throw us for a loop with unexpected global tensions and stuff, and it goes up like a rocket because of uh, war in the Middle East and stuff, you're going to see the silver crowd tell you the dollar's going away till nothing, blah, 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 blah. Maybe it is eventually, but it ain't going away in the next couple of years. And you're going to see, you'll see it come back down. The, do, the silver and the gold come down in U.S. dollars if it really takes off like crazy. Coming up here pretty soon due to, due to like international global conflict and all that kind of garbage. That's usually what happens. We got stuff that can happen at any time. We got, you know, the stuff going on in Iraq is very serious. Stuff going on in Ukraine is very serious. So it, it doesn't take much to set off and change the whole climate for gold and silver. But if it, nothing happens... I'm thinking, it, but you know, it's hard to say. If nothing happened, it's, you know, it's this whole hum, just kind of like slow burn behind the behind the scenes, and we're in the doldrums all the way through like 2014. Well, you know what could happen then? 2015, when the markets come down, if they just come down by themselves, that's going to take a major hit on gold and silver too. And I think that's going to happen. But it's a possibility. I always know that it's a possibility. But I'm not thinking that's going to happen. I think they're going to throw us a loop. It's going to take off like a rocket. And then get hit again even faster than it took off. And then they're going to change the whole QE policy, the Federal Reserve policy. They're going to go QE full steam ahead. And then it'll have a final charge up. And that won't be till like 2018 or something like that or late 2017. Where it really takes off, you know, where we see the really high silver prices. Anyway, just got to watch your expectations. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. It's a smart investment, though, definitely. And I would not try to bottom feed where I think it's going to go lower. I don't know where the hell it's going because it ain't, you know, 18 is a pretty damn solid point where we were. We hit that a couple of times. And uh, I wouldn't try to guess it. But that's why you don't put all your money in one place. Place, but just be prepared that sometime before 20 September 2015 is probably going to be the middle of the next financial crisis, and that's when silver and gold are going to come back down. And if they're from this point, it's going to go lower. I don't know, but I don't know. I I got a feeling they're going to throw us for a loop first. It's going to go up and all the. Usual voices are going to be out there. Hey, cheering it on. Oh, it's going to go to the moon. It's going to go to side five thousand dollars an ounce. Blah blah blah. You know, I'm talking silver, right? Not gold. Gold's going to go to fifty thousand an ounce. That's what they're going to say, right? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's what they'll do. That's what they'll do because it's it's going to throw us a curveball. That's what I think's coming up. So beware of September 2015. Just keep it in the back of your mind. I got a major suspicion on this because they dropped too many hints about it, you know? I mean, I don't know this for a fact, but that's what, uh, you know, four blood moons, seven years on a he fourth blood moon, the four blood moons, seven years on the Hebrew calendar, the normal cycles of recessions. It all adds up, man. So that's what I'm thinking. Anyway, over and out.